Hello guys and welcome to Ring the Bar Restroom. I'm of course main commentator John Alderman alongside Jason Todd. Uh, yes, it's great to be here for this big show. Well, great to be back after our two weeks. Oh, why? Uh, what a way we have to kick things off. Yeah, what a way we have to kick things off here indeed here in San Diego. Well, oh, oh, a little bit of that. But coming out first, though, is our United States Champion, Alexander Vaishan. Everyone, yeah, well, we'll see if Alexander Vaishan can continue on, you know, his winning ways. So being United States Champion, that two weeks away is, you no know, could have helped him, or maybe not. We'll see, though, if Alexander Vaishan can defeat the big man known as Shogun here tonight. Any big Shogun. I mean, Vaishan, he's been on big roll ever since he came in to Arena by Wrestling. He's been holding that United States title for such a long time now, but now there's a big challenge laid out for him, though. Travis Turner, our Triple Crown champion, laying out to both Sergio and Vaishan. Sergio has always been very vocal that he accepts it. He's going to drop his KO title. But then there's Vaishan, who's been staying very silent on the media. And let's see if he's going to be answering about that tonight. Yeah, it's got to be one day. Let's go through the mind of Alexander Vaishan if you think about it, taking the challenge. Because, yeah, if he does, he has to drop well the United States Championship. Yeah, he would have to drop the United States Championship. But let's see if he would do that. But coming out first, I mean, second, sorry, now. It is Shogun. Of course, well, Shogun can take advantage of what could be going through the mind of Alexander Vaishon here tonight. So Vaishon may not have his mind completely on this match, maybe focusing too much. Now, as Travis turned at the Triple Crown Championship, Shogun could really take advantage of that here tonight. And Shogun could definitely take advantage. I mean, non title matchup. Vaishan doesn't have anything really to lose in this one. But well, Shogun, he's got everything to win in this. If he could pick up a win here tonight over oh, our yeah. United States champion, and he does drop that title, who would say he should be first in the line to go for it? Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, you say that Shogun has pretty much everything going for him, everything to win in this matchup. Yeah, a huge opportunity lies ahead if he can win here tonight. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah, that outstanding record for Alexander Vaishan, one of the best records around here. Is so that's why he's on such a roll. And now well, maybe you should think about, you know, Kai for the Triple Crown Championship, but it is a hell of a risk. It is a risk. You lose your belt if you go for it, and if you fail, you end up with nothing. But well, let's see if he's going to accept that. But for now, he's got, you know, a set. His eyes set on Shogun here. Shogun right now taking control over Vaishan here. But now Vaishan able to take him down. Yeah, quick takedown there. By Vaishan and that were a big close up, oh. but you can see the Shogun doesn't go down. Yeah, Shogun not an easy man to get down. Even now, only down to his knee. <clears throat> We've seen Shogun before in the likes of KO title matches we've seen him able to get it done inside the ring but can he get it done tonight big opportunity at hand yeah, his big high stakes match up here for sure he said he has so much to gain with a victory here tonight he's saying no oh, is into a cover no hook of the leg an easy kick out so Shogun could win yeah he's definitely gonna be in line for Huge US title shot. No matter what Alexander Vaishan does. Yeah, no matter what Vaishan does here indeed. But now Shogun there, you see him taking down Vaishan and all oh, Shogun circling around him. Oh, what a blunt force trauma there. 
And then be about to blow for his trouble now. See if I show in trouble, Shark on the item up. And it has him. way too long. <laughs> Taken down. But now, what is he looking to do? Oh, has him up, brings him to have a big Uranagi slam. Yeah, big Uranagi slam there, but now, Rishon with a big elbow. But oh, no, not able to get him there. Is now Shogun with a huge suplex there. A huge, huge suplex. He's seen if I show roll it to the outside. Could be a smart move for him. See Shogun come to the outside, but all oh, catches him. They catch him up to a two count here. Shogun trying to continue here on Vaishan now throwing him back inside the ring. Back inside he goes. Big elbow to the back of the head. And oh, bring him down. And that twisted flower on. He's put away many opponents with that vicious maneuver. But he's now looking to finish things. Yeah, he's looking to finish things here. Taken down. Cover. One. Two. Oh, Shogun able to kick out. He's now big knee there. And oh, now Beishondo able to get back, but not for long. Shogun able to take back control of the matchup here. And now we're going to take him into the corner. Let's have him in it all. The close on and now what was the guff? Oh no, but the close on right to the back of the head. Yeah, right to the back of the head. <laughs> now we'll take a big boot there. And now Shogun, could he put away Vaishan? He's looking to. Oh, I look to me bring him up. <laughs> and oh, that brings him down at a cover. Two, no. But he's shot able to kick out. Could be a mistake. From Shark on that, not hooking the leg on that cover, rather, you know, not shamotly with the cover. Right now, Vaishan looking to pick up Shogun here, but Shogun able to outpower him there. And that's a power now. Oh, has him up for the power bomb. Look at this. Look at the strength and a huge buckle bomb. One, no. Only a one count though after that huge buckle bomb. Shogun able to kick out. What is he going to be able to do here though? What can Vaishan do to try and take out Shogun? Oh, he's going to just try to hit more of those big moves. Just wear down Shogun though. Bit more to get towards victory is a cover now. Hook off the leg. No. He can't let up for a second. He can't let up for a second. And this could be it. This could be it. Two. Three. And Vaishan picks up the victory. Yeah, another big victory. Alexander Vaishan. Another outstanding performance by him. Give Shogun credit, he put up a fight, but it just wasn't enough in the end to defeat this man. I say, what will Vaishon be looking to do with his future? And what will Vaishon be looking to do for his future? Will he accept Travis's challenge? And will he be content with the United States title being a big fish in the small pond? I don't know, I feel like wants that triple crown championship i think he wants to shoot even higher but does he want to give up the world's title for it so let's see is he's asking for my saying after my big win here tonight i am bringing big news i accept travis turner's challenge and won't drop my u.s title and go after the triple crown with only one clause being if i by chance i don't win which won't happen I will get a match for my U.S. title back, which I assume the same will be for Sergio after he fails and I succeed. Oh, well, that is a big statement and an announcement from Alexander Vaishon said he accepts if he gets that stipulation. Well, let's see if he will be able to get that clause. Will Randy Orton be able to answer it tonight or later on? But, well, for now, though, we're going to be having a huge... For a fatal four-way match here, William Jackson 
TTK, Just Stone, and Jinx Nitro about to get started here. As well, coming out first, it is William Jackson. Yeah, the party goer, William Jackson. But well, when the bell rings, he's a very different person. I mean, I don't know if you've seen uh, backstage though earlier in, you know, tonight before the show went on here, what he had. No, no, what do you have? He had a little bit of the Bob Blair. Oh, no way. Is he even going to be fit to be able to fight if he had a little bit of the Bob Blair? Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. I mean, he hasn't got anything in his possession he can currently lose. Maybe except that hat. He might lose that hat. He may not want to avoid any, you know, steakhouses. You know, he, he generally does lose blood whenever he comes out here. Though. Oh, that's very true. So, could he be losing blood here tonight after a little bit of the bubbly? He might be bleeding the bubbly. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's, uh... Hmm. Nah, drinking blood's just wrong. <laughs> even if it is a little bit of the bubbly? Yes. <clears throat> yes, even if it is that. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. But well, coming out next, it is ZTK. And well, let's see if he'll be able to make a big impact here tonight. He's gonna win the Fatal 4 without Kurt Angle here on his side. Let me see. You know, ZTK is out of pass. Even when Kurt Eichel has a bit out, he's been able to be successful, so we'll see. Now, if CTK yeah, can pick up a big victory here tonight in this fatal four way matchup. Definitely a big one here. Let's see. I'm sure CTK got some last words from Kurt Angle. Maybe Kurt Angle tried to offer him a little bit of the bubbly as well. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't seem like a very curved thing to me, to, you know, oh, as no, a sorry, tutor. Sorry. Uh, a little bit of bubbly milk. Ah! Does that mean that's, it's got off? What was that? Does that mean it's got off? Maybe. I mean, that bubbly milk does not sound good. I mean, it might to some. Now, someone coming to court twice here, I mean, the same song, I feel like that was a mistake, I feel like this guy should have his own separate theme, but oh well, Jinx Nitro coming out here. Yeah, possibly should, but oh well, you know, the goddamn monkeys are, they've been hitting the bubbly, haven't they? You know what, they might have been hitting the bubbly. Ah, uh, those goddamn monkeys. There's always something with Wait, them. Do you think William Jackson gave him the bubble? Oh, God, no. I thought. Do you think William Jackson is trying to get in with production here to get a win? I mean, I don't think production can really help unless they, you know, perform a distraction by playing music. I mean, they might play the bubble song. Oh no, which one? <laughs> I don't find one. But coming out next, a now former BPW champion, of course, our partners, Justice Stone. He still thinks former BPW champion, Justice Stone, he's looking to try to bounce back. Him and Rin Perez, you know, from losing total well, there was part of our partners. But we'll see if Justice Stone can, can win this big fatal four way match. Try to get his confidence back. Yeah, let's see if he can't get his confidence back. Hopefully, he hasn't been turning to the bubbly after losing his belt. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's you know that's a prior thing to lose it about is he hitting the bubbly? It might be. <laughs> and then you launch launch an investigation while still hitting the bubbly, and then once you find a toll, ah, you go back to hitting the bubbly even more. <laughs> of course. And then you lose it again. That's how it has to. Mm. But that's neither here nor there. We're in San Diego. That is very true. We'll see second match of the night. A big fatal four-way contest. Wait, wait. I, He's I, still wearing a hat. 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting a message here. Okay. Okay. This match, the winner of this match is going to get some bubbly. Oh, how nice. This is a bubbly four away now. Right, okay. This is now standing up. This is now a fatal five way contest. <laughs> but, okay. You, you, I'm getting it. Get in. You're getting in. You, you, you want the bubbly. That shit looks dangerous. Yeah. I'll stay here. You know, the last time you got blood on your suit, you could have afforded the bubbly. That's true, but that time, I, you know, there was a risk of injury. So I'm just gonna, you know, stay here. Yeah, you know, I'm just sit back down. Sit back down. Come on. <laughs> All right, Justin Stone, though, is fighting ZTK on the outside. ZTK winning. Oh, right in front of us. Oh, here. Oh, oh. Be careful, please. I mean, these guys will do anything for the bubble. It's looking Especially ZTK. William Jackson. Especially. See, though, ZTK had something planned for Justin Stone, but he's able to counter. It's now oh, punch oh, right, right in front of you. I think they're Catching trying to the... force you into the match. No, I said no. No. Oh. Yeah. Super oh, kick it's... on the inside. The big scissors hit there, but Chicks don't show. Where can I have William Jackson? As... Seriously, I'm not in this match. Are you sure? I mean, I think Justice or ZTK may have heard you say that you're in the match now. They're trying to get uh, you in No, no, bold right there is. A note man to get a hit for some bubble. Why not? I, I'm sure we can probably send him to get some bubble. Oh, wait, it's oh. King coming over here. Grabbing the chair. Oh boy. What's to my things? Extreme. Extreme and a candlestick now from just the stone as well. Which is fucking oh, what? Just big shots from preferences. Jinx Deutscher has still got that hat on. He's it definitely just super bleach to him. You know, how does he keep that hat on? It's what, uh, it must be, you know, set to, you know, to the tightest possible. It has to be. I mean, you know, most people, like, lose their hats, you know, down the river, on roller coasters. And I would assume he lose them the rest of the week just jumping in. Yeah, you think, but no. He's still got it on. And now, oh, big neck breaker. And the Brigger ZT came back into the ring. Do you think he's hiding in the game? Ooh, should like, be hiding a weapon. Ooh, he could be. Or he could be hiding, be hiding in, the bubbly. Yeah, but I say, he could be hiding a small bottle of the bubbly. Huh. You know, this match is just really just turned into the bubbly match. Um. <laughs> Wait, anyway. wait. Yep, go on. The, the bubbly bottle bash, you could call bubbly it. Bubbly bottle bash, okay. Oh, wait, wait, one, two, no. Well, ZT Cab wants a kick out, he's still alive in this one. An old Dodgers Justice Stone. I can't keep up the offense. You know, I do like the alliteration of the bubbly bottle bash. That could be a pay okay. They could be his oh no. Oh, oh god, Chief Nitro taking down just a stone onto the chair! Oh my god! As good as my wit as he has broken in half. He has broken in half here, Chief. Louis Jackson coming down now with the candlestick. Just a stone blinked out of his mind. <laughs> and oh, gets kind of dropped it. it. I think, I think he saw some bubbly on his hands. He dropped it. Oh, oh. the belly to belly suplex on the hey, candles. Hey, hey. <laughs> and now he's going to do it. <laughs> that mockery. Oh, Jesus. Is that still on his head? Yeah, he did that with a hat still on his head. Oh, Willie Jackson not impressed. His big front shots ducks under. Big spike buster. But oh, big front foot pack stabber. But immediately breaking up. William Jackson is not about to lose the bubble. That's certainly not. And now, oh, we got some moves. He's been and busted open. Yes, ZTK is the one who gets busted open. For once, it's not William Jackson. Chat saying, I think Odie's been drinking a lot of a little bit of the bubbly before the match. 
That is quite the possibility. Now they're trying to get more bubbly. Free bubbly. But, you know, with how much they're putting the body through now, do you think it's expensive, bubbly? Or do you think it's so cheap one that you get some wine? Uh, uh, probably a cheap one, I imagine. I mean, I don't know. What kind of budget do we have well, for bubble? Know. I mean, do you think Gary V, would, you know, Gary V. Gorman would pick the cheap stuff? I don't know. I mean, we fought out enough in pyro. I mean, that is true. There is a lot of pyro budget. But what's the bubbly budget? Um, I'm not the accountant. You're not? No. I'm going to I thought you sell all of our money with the way you sell your suits. No, that's just my own little hobby. Yeah. Do you, wait, do you at least make the nachos? No! Huh? I'm not catering it. Oh, goodness, face oh. first onto the kendo stick. Ensign and Balloon and Jackson right there to break up the cover again. Now picking up just the stone. Oh, stun gun there. Cover Cheek Snatcher right there. And Cheek Snatcher's right there to stun up. Oh, and yeah. Jax is still trying to go for him. I, I think he's getting a little high in the bubble right now. Possibly so. Double under her pedigree. And now CTK. Cover. No. Yeah, just a straight up CTK. Cover. No. No, oh, these torches are so desperate trying to get the win. Of course, it's all about getting a bit of a little bit of the bubble. Just a little. What do you think shrinking the bubble right now? Like they're only getting a little better. Probably the production monkeys. Oh, get Ovi Gorman. Oh, could very well be. But now taking down. Gene Sanko taking down ZTK. Blue and Jackson, though, right on top of the Kendall stick. We're not going to be able to do anything with it right now. But now, what is Gene Sanko looking to do? Oh, has his throat. Guess the throat. He just yanks back on the ropes. Now, Chief Snacker trying, starting to feel the match. It's just Stone slow to get up. ZTK also slow. But now, just a Stone looking to get in. Now, looking to try and find his moments here. He's trying to find his moment. Doesn't seem to be happening. It's all oh, gets caught in the crossfire a little like that. It's tapped in between. Chief Snacker. Uh oh, pass him up. Oh, big snap suplex. Yeah, here's snap suplex, and now has him up, taken down. Oh, oh but he's not done, rolls through. <laughs> taken down again. TTK for the cover, for the win. Oh, no. No, the referee's a bit slow there. That could have been it. And the referee's two sets. Oh my goodness, a rolling cutter there. Yeah, here's rolling cutter. Jake Satcher going for the cover. Everyone's down. He could, could be have a perfect it here. opportunity. Yes, it is. And picking up the win. Winning a little bit of the bubbly. Jake Nitro. Well. A big win for Chigstotcher as he wins the grand prize of a little bit of the play. And I'm sure he's going to go backstage and enjoy that. He's going to be enjoying that. And maybe take off that hat, that hat maybe uh, close off his circulation. Uh, yes. But either way, big win for Jinx Nitro here. Getting a little bit of the bubbly. Well... We're going to be moving on to women's tag team action. And this is going to be to try to get into that women's tag team title match. Well, we're going to be seeing the Psycho Sister, Psycho Twins going against Flag. So coming out first. It is the Psycho Twins, Katie Bisping and Nikki. Yeah, we'll see if they get have a big victory here tonight and move on to try and get across the women's tag team titles of course see Katie Bispy right now is the current world women's champion so she's already got the singles women's title 
I try to get the tag team titles alongside Nikki. She could that be huge. That would be huge here indeed. Will she be able to do the Will she be able to go and get here tonight? Well, they got a big challenge in front of them in the flag. They certainly do have a big challenge laid out in front of them. In flag, in fall, look and kill. Let's see which two the two teams will be able to get the big victory here tonight. These teams are going to be getting the victory here tonight. Well, I mean, guys, say it's going to be a little bit of an advantage for the Cycle Twins for having have well, the women's champion on there. Yes, I think it will be an advantage to say the least. But coming out next, it is Fight Like a Girl. Otherwise, no one has Yeah, we'll see if it could be them. To get the big victory tonight and move on well into this big women's tag team title contention to try and gain those championships. Be the first so ever flag. women's tag champs, of course. Now, I mean, it'd be a huge moment for Kenny Pistri if it was her to win and to move on because, well, I mean, imagine if she could not only be the first women's champion, the first, well, Women's Tag Team Champion. Well, they're going to start strong here. They're going to start with Katie Bisming here. And well, we're going to get this match underway. Jason, who you got going in this one? You know, I may have to all as a cover here. I'm going to have to go with Fight Like a Girl for this. I feel when it comes to the teaming, it will be the better ones here. They're going to be more focused on the Tag Team titles. He's got to feel that Kevin is still going to be focused on the singles gold she has. And I could, you know, come into play and, you know, favor her flag. That's very well indeed as well. I'm getting some news in. Very major news. So, on our Twitter, we have announced that there was a trade that happened. During the uh, during the, uh, the two week break that we had, that trade was Nikita and Brittany Blake are now back. Uh, well, Brittany Blake back on Apex. Nikita joining her and Violet Edwards and not Amber Baker, her well partner, but Rebecca Wicked being moved over to to Battlefront. That was very huge news, a very interesting news to say the least. Yeah, try to have it there, it's really going to shake up things around here. It's definitely going to shake things up here in the women's division. I mean, if I was Amber Baker, or even if I would have, what I'd be thinking right now, my, my whoa, tap on her just got moved over to a different brand. Yeah, it's I mean, true, so it's going to be very interesting to know how that's going to work as a dynamic for them. I mean, are they going to still try and team up with, you know, the women's tag team titles, of course, being cross-branded? Oh, that is very true. They could indeed, I mean, they didn't, I mean, they didn't even win their match to get into that contention. And we're getting a little bit of a... Uh, what about the bubble I think, just got onto the production boards here? Uh, Oh, damn it. Well, then the monkey spilled a little bit of the bubbly. What happens here, but interesting to see. I mean, we, we saw at the draft, Brittany Blake was the first one to go over from Apex to Battlefront. Now she's back on Apex. A really a hot product, you would say, if well, Randy Orton really wanted to get her back. I mean, Brittany Blake seems to be a person who's you know really beat up you know get him be picking up big victories i mean yeah well they considered a hot commodity within the women's division is someone who could be a real threat to well Cody Rizmik and the women's championship and i'm being told now amber baker is going to be in action right on tonight on our social media it was question marks i'm being told now that match is going to be Amber Baker versus Nikita later on tonight, making her Apex debut. 
And that is absolutely huge. And I'm now officially announced I've got a one tap. How um, Paper feels about this match, of course, this whole trading happened. And then this whole controversy with it, and which she made two to the Gita as a result. Well, wait, wait, look at this. Oh, big double team. On the woman champion, and continuing on into the cover. Crap is slow to see it, but oh, not even a one count. Oh, great hook with the pin onto the leg and a beautiful bridge in position. But referee's poor position could have caused flying. You know, they've really been focusing on Katie Pisman, really isolating her. And Katie Pisman needs to take this opportunity to you see know, tag out. I mean, just what was the ref distracted by? I mean, there was a cover right in front of him. That could have at least gone to a two count there, but oh! no, but that big kick by Jade. And a big kick by Jade. And Kelly caught a nasty bit of whiplash from the ropes. So has her up, but no, Kelly has been escaping out of the back. Yeah, the back here, and now they explore the suplex there. You just run. now look at these clothes fist punches right to the face. That's another big, one. I pay. Punch to the head of Jade there as now Katie Pierce been working to continue here. Throwing her into the corner. Missing there. Yeah, coming up short, but now she's doing the right thing. Kenny Nikki into the match. Take it out, get the fresh woman in here. As, oh my goodness. Jade going so high in the air. Yeah, throwing Jade high into the sky. But now Nikki stand to take over. What is she looking to do here next? Taken down. Oh, oh drops oh. hold there. And then Jade was oh. able to counter perfectly. It all tried for a super kick, but no gets drop kicked into the knee. And yeah, into the knee of Nikki there now. Throwing her indicated Bisping here. Right into her. And oh, oh you can see it there. Down. And a little cheap shot there from Kavis with knocking Jade down. Now, uh oh. That's what position. What is this? He's got blood. Three. Nikki taking her to the barricade here. And now taking down the leg and hitting against the stairs. Yeah, look at the leg, the ankle. That could do some serious damage. Because these two fight the outside. We see a double count on here, possibly. I mean, what will that do to. You know, the contention when it comes to the tag, well, the women's tag team titles. Yeah, seven. Nikki back inside. Jade not far behind. The ref didn't even do a count. You see, like he was waiting. I think he knew Jade was going to get back in the ring. And oh my goodness, I'll I take think it down. Tiger One, power two, bomb. No. <clears throat> Big kick there. But Jade, now we can get Ashley Williamson into the back into the match here. Yeah, just try to get a fresh partner back into the ring here. You can see Nikki taking her into the corner. Oh, oh, monkey big flip. monkey flip! That's a big monkey flip there. Now, what is she looking to do? We'll drag it up. Towards the ropes and all hers at the outside. Is he really trying to maybe go for a count out victory here? Yeah, maybe going for a count out. What is she looking to do? He's now throwing her <clears throat> back inside the ring. Nikki, what is she looking to do to Ashley? Throwing her back outside. Oh, she got plan, but oh, Ashley was able to counter her. And now. Tired there, but no damn to push off a big drop kick into the knee. Into the knee, and now working over on the arm. He's just wrenching away at the arm, then just trying to do some serious tabbage. But oh, look at that right to Jake, the quick tag, and oh, try for a super kick, but missed. And missed there, now Jake just loading onto Nikki there. And huge kicks, we can see that he right back up. He manages to dodge the boot, but no, Jay puts again counters out. And these two just consistent counters. And absolutely consistent. 
Nikki going for it there, not able to get it. But no, taken down now. What is she looking to do? Throwing her into the corner. And to the opposite corner here. Ashley is down though. Jade, what is she looking to do to Nikki? What she got planned? Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. Think oh, about my this. Goodness. Think about this. Oh my god. And taken out is Nikki Jade still feeling it though. Yeah, she's still feeling the damage in there. But Nikki could be out of it. But no, we're able to fight back here. Nikki Jade has her up. Oh, oh my goodness, a big suplex backbreaker. But now Jade just continuing. Is she going for it again? No, it has her up, but taken down, slammed on the outside of the ring. Six count here. And you know, a big dub at Ida. Seven. We're getting her back, back inside the ring. Jade falling now slowly behind. Both of these charges and some of the Nikki, but Nikki was able to roll up really just in time. But now, again, though, Jade right on top of Nikki here, now stretching back the arms. Oh, my goodness, you can see the pain in our face. This is not looking good for the Cyclops Twins here. It really is, it is. Oh, good. And they just shot a cocky attitude. It could that be a mistake? Now getting Dashi Wilson back in the ring. Back inside the ring. He's taking down the arm. And now throwing her back into the corner here. Nikki went for the double knees. Didn't get it there. And taken down. They're taking a ton. Hmm. Big oh. elbow there. And all oh, brings her down. Taken down is now has her up there. Great strength there by Ashley Williamson. Taken oh. down Nikki. Nikki needs to get a tag into Katie Bisping. Super quick to the outside. Slid so hard to the outside. I thought she was unconscious. This is not looking good for the Cycle Twins. That really isn't. And then she took a nasty call to Meteora. And now just look at these. Some vicious kicks from how she was so Nikki looked completely out of it. And oh, now the knee to the face. Ashley Wilson starting to get a little gassed here, though. Yeah, she's getting a little gassed. As, and now a cover hook yeah, off cover. the ramp. No. Katie's right there to stop it. Right there to stop it. And now, what is she looking to do? Plan is all a little like they can want to try and crawl, crawl towards Katie Bisping. You can see that the potty and chain is in the pathway. Yeah, in the pathway there is now working over on her hair. And right over on it, and oh, <laughs> and oh, big spear! Yeah, big spear taking down Nikki, and now going for the cover. One. Two, three, finally oh. the girl picks up the victory. You can see the cave is with a pulled up short trying to stop the pinfall there and fight like a cow move forward. And can we be looking at the very first women's tag team champions? Good, very well indeed. Great tag team work by Fight Like a Girl, isolating Nikki away and well. That's how you pick up a victory. Fire Girl, huge victory there. We are going to be moving on. Alex Wright will be going one on one against Damian Valentine. And moving on to another big time matchup here. Two big contestants going to go at it. We'll see who will pick up the win in this one. And who's going to be picking up the win in this one? Coming out first, it is Alex Wright, the Demon King. King. Yeah, the Demon King himself, he won the other right to that name. 
We'll see if Alex Wright can pick up the victory here tonight against Tamian Valentine. Yeah, let's see if he can pick up a big win here against Tamian Valentine. I am getting some notes about this match. We will be talking about that when the match starts. But for now, coming out is Alex Wright. He'll be trying to try and make a big impact here. Can he win over, well, the showman, Damian Valentine? He was certainly looking to do that. He to pick up a big monumental victory. And well, in whatever this opportunity could be that we will find out. We'll find out what this big opportunity Randy Orton is putting out for these guys here. Alex Wright though, looking ready. Sent in always ready. Hacking away from Apex, getting picked up by Battlefront in the draft. He is still being well, reworked right now. We'll surely be seeing from him soon. But for now, Alex Wright, though, taking over. Take over as the Team and King, well, Apex. And you know, we'll find out at some point's kind of event wise. And right now, we focus on this man and the opponent he's going to have in Damien Valentine. Challenge here tonight. <clears throat> let's see. Is he going to be up to the task here? He was up to the task for an always, but is he up for the task with what's going to be coming for him here tonight? Well, that's a big question because, yeah, he's in there with a formidable opponent. And coming out next, it is Damien Valentine. Yep, the showman of Tamian Randon, who always says he has eight reasons why he's better than you oh, and yeah, why he let's, let's beat go, let's you. See him. Yeah, we're gonna count them. Ah, oh, my friend's gonna show off his muscles. And then count them. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, eight reasons. Eight reasons why he says he's better than you. He'll beat you. Uh, the, the first thing I don't, I'm not a fan of. Okay. He says um, his abs are eight reasons why you should not drink a little bit of the bubbly. Oh no! Because he does not drink any of that um, overpriced crap, as he put it, and that's why he is the way he is. That's not the way. The way Genetic he is. perfection. He doesn't drink the bubbly. No. What? I'm sure he's one of those straight edge weirdos. Uh, well, what does he do? Spend his time at the gym for perfecting those eight abs? No, I assume so. I mean, you look at the physique of this man, it's not just something you can, you know, just be bored with. I thought you'd get that from drinking the bubbly. No, you get the complete reverse of that. What? You kidding me? Yes. But I can totally be treating the bubble. You can look like Damian Valentine. No. Specifically like him. Have you seen me? Okay, yeah. You were great in your suit. What? You were great in your suit. You should see what's under this suit. It's not so great. And hey, this hey, that, that, that's not PG. In a, in a bubbly. <laughs> Never said we were PG, but that's not PG. <laughs> That, no, well, no. That is not safe for work, what's under that suit. Nope. Neither is my internet search history. <clears throat> yeah, you better clear it. Um, but with that being said, though, big, big news for this match, though. This match is going to be part of a tournament for the United States Championship. Well, that is huge. A huge reward. Cavorders now get it into the tournament for a chance to become United States champion. You can see Tammy Valentine. You may have overheard us already, or he already knows about it, and he's feeling fired up. Yeah, of course. Being told that Randy Orton and Burn Brennan, they worked over on the clause. They talked over Gary Vigorman. They accept the clause that if 
Sergio or Vaishan or even both of them are unsuccessful, they will be able to go after their title again once they find the new vacated champion though. But with that being said, right now, Alex Wright and Damian Valentine are looking to try and you know, make their way up to go for that right now vacated United States Championship. And it'll be huge for one of these individuals to get that victory to move one step closer to try and become United States Champion. And I'm also being told on Battlefront there will be a tournament to find the new KO Champion, the Knockout Champion, even though it is a dual brand championship since Apex has the United States Tournament, they're going to give Battlefront the knockout title tournament to even out. And there's a huge fear for them. You see how fired up these two are. Oh, that would be an absolute, as you can see here. Alex Roy looking to end things. Yeah, we're looking to end them here. Oh, has them up. Oh, and they're rolling up pretty up. Yeah, cover. Two. No. <laughs> and. I, I want a quickie segue. Okay. Because of what Alex Wright is. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a demon king. Yeah, yeah. And uh, David uh, Valentine doesn't like the bubbly. Go on. The, the, well, it's not even to do with those two. It's just with the craziness we have here. Do we have any fear God Zach stunning? Zach's. Uh, during a two week break, no one has even seen her. From Iron Damien oh. or Zach Stunning, but look at that into the knees. Oh! He tr tried for a double boom sight, he was crashing. Burn! Yeah. Oh, oh god, I just mentioned burning. Oops. Not, not, a, light, not a great subject. You don't know body was down. Not a great subject. Of course, if you guys don't know what you're talking about, check out the last Apex where you see. Well, we saw Damien Six with. Zach Stunning at the limo. We saw him open the boot of the limo, the trunk if you're in America, of course. And then we see a limo on fire with nobody found, though. But Alex are trying to go for it again, not able to get it. And put, busted open, taking it down time. And we have yet. Another crash of. Never yeah, crash another crash of burn <laughs> from the inverted, uh, attempted inverted Phoenix splash. Is now, uh oh. Take it oh, down, cover. Yes. One. Look off the leg. Two. No. But we have yet to see or heard from Danny Six, the man that, well, I, I think he's in hiding. And the. Mm. MIA. Uh, MIA, Zach Stunning. Everything we see was a tweet today in regards to him being a bit angry about not being booked. And possibly showed up, but it looks like that's not happening. Is he even in San Diego? Not, well, there's been no sightings, but can we just stop? It scares me. There's all oh, we could be on the way oh. to ending this rolling up pretty here. Cover again. Oh my Dana god. Valentine really busted open, but still kicking out. The crimson mask. Oh my goodness. That is a crimson mask. He is bleeding profusely. Very profusely there for taking down. How he is able to see that? I do not understand. I think it's adrenaline more than anything. It's He's just maybe gave the sixth sense. He's looking to has him up that another big neck break a cover hook off the One, leg. Two, no. Once again, Alex for a kick out. Both these two are just showing how much it means to have an opportunity to become United States champion. Oh, 
Oh, just trying to open that wound even more. I mean, that's what he's doing. He's doing that sadistic side of him. Watching David oh. Valentine. I think he's just enjoying this. I think he is too. And if we're not careful, someone's going to accuse us of, of only liking blood and guts. And, and no, no, that's not us. That, we, we ain't bubbling. That's, that's Alex right as... Oh, what? I finally picked up the victory just there. <clears throat> Ref saying, oh, we have two, though. Ooh. There's a pay-per-view name. What? Blood, guts, and bubbling. <laughs> Maybe in the off-season. <laughs> yes, we should do it. It's all super cute. Oh, wait. And oh, into the cover. One. I'm so exhausted. Two, no. But again, I'm sorry, kick it out. You can see that might have been wait, it. Wait. Do you think you can see? I don't it's know. No, no. right back up. He gets right back up. I don't know if maybe he actually did hit, do enough damage just in the knees alone. I think he bounced off the knees. Straight up. Now, trying to take him down the third time. Is it the time? One. Picks up the victory. A hard for victory. I mean, he is a mess. But he is the victor here tonight. He gets one step closer to becoming United States champion. One step closer is Damian Valentine picking up a bloody victory to say the least. Oh, yeah. What a victory. What a victory. It was for Damien Valentine. So we're going to be moving on. Another match for the United States title tournament. Roy Pierce against the Bandits. Yeah, another big match up here. Yeah, which of these two will be will go through to the next round? Will it be Roy Pierce or will it be the Bandits? And now Roy Pierce making his way down to the ring. Well, he looks ready to try and go for this United States title here. Now, let's see if he can get it done here. If he can walk in that Kimura, anything can happen. Yes, it certainly can. That's what we're pissed off to his shark. Oh, wait, wait, from behind! Alex Storm taking down Roy Pierce. What the hell is this about? No. Oh. I can still take it out, Roy Pierce. And well, Roy Pierce said he could still go to the referee as we now await his opponent. Yeah, he's got back in, into the ring, stretching out his hand there. But is he going to be a hundred percent for this match? No, surely not. I mean, he just got slammed into the steel steps. We know how dangerous the bandit can be. Bandit could be in for a quick victory here tonight. We know Roy Pierce, he won't back down for a second. And then face first into the steel steps. I mean, a UFC background was the Bandit. I mean, he may very well knock him out here tonight. I mean, just the damage has been done. Yeah, the damage has indeed been done. Well, it's not looking good for Roy Pierce in this one. It's not looking good for Ray Pierce in this one, but he's the one bringing the fight first here. He's trying to maybe just try and get it in now. Try and get the offensive in. Try and like maybe put away the bandit as quick as he can before the bandit can even counter. But right now, the bandit was able to shift his weight there and cause Ray Pierce to not be able to complete it there. But now taking it to the outside, and oh, face hitting the side of the ring as he was going down. And I think more damage done to the facial region of Roy Pierce. And you can see, look at the strength of the bad hits. He's holding him up. up. Taken down. Ref counting on. Four. Look at those big elbows! Huge elbows. These two just 
br looking to brutalize each other on the outside as oh goodness. No. These two need to get oh, back in the headbutt. ring. Seven. But take oh, it down. onto the ramp. Oh, and an elbow for good measure. Eight. This is not looking good. Bandit made his way back in. Alex Storm again. Nine. And Alex Storm going the after the need. The referee didn't notice. And calling the bell. Oh my goodness. Alex Storm just full on constant. Roy Pierce a chance to be going for the United States help, helping the Bandit here tonight. It's a bandit, what the hell? Bandit phasing through, but a big victory here for the Bandit. Quick order, thanks to Alex Storm. But we're going to be moving on as Amber Baker will be going against Nikita here. And surprisingly enough, Nikita looks like she's coming out here with the first one she's got drafted with her, Brittany Boy. But that's going to be for the second entrance. Coming out right now is Amber Baker. Well, Amber Baker could be making of that. Been well known, and Oki is going to have pretty play by so But quickly, go back to previous match. I mean, Bounce make you thinking, well, how did you know the Bandit not get disqualified? Well, that's what Chomp didn't notice it, but when the Bandit ran back, it's when the referee's preoccupied with him. As well, Alex still struck again, costing Roy Pierce the match. <laughs> You don't think he gave the ref some bubbly? I don't know about that one. But... Well, it, it's a very controversial situation. I can imagine if Rick Pierce is gonna be extremely angry and will want blood and will want to destroy Alex Tom. They say the show must come on. God, what the, what is going through the mind of this woman right here? Yeah, what is going to be going through her mind? Fiber Edwards, you know, used to be, you know, chaos intent, but now she has moved over to Battlefront. But coming out, not lethal desire, a new team here. Nero Jordan it used to be teaming with Nikita, but now Nikita's out here with Brittany Blake, completely forgetting about Nero Jordan. Yeah, it's very interesting to say at least. Just like a different side to the kid. He had completely just decided to drop Nana Jordan to this new team. Well, with Brittany Blake known as Lethal Desire to say they could be a real team to back when it comes to women's tag team titles. They could very well indeed. And they may very well have their eyes set. But here's the thing. Nawa and Nikita already won their match to try and get into the women's tag titles. But here she is now with Brittany Blake. Do you think that Nikita's going to try and talk to Madrid about just getting a go through with Brittany Blake replacing Nayla Jordan? And, uh, do you really think Nayla Jordan's just going to sit back and allow that? Well, I can't imagine she would sit back there and allow it. But I mean, if Ratchet allows it, what much can she do? I mean, that is the thing. But now Amber Baker, though, looking to try and take out Nikita here, taking out the leg. Looking to, well, maybe welcome Nikita to Apex, but is Amber going to be in the right state of mind? I don't know, as said, the taxi partner has been, you know, dropped over to Battlefront. She's here on her own. So, what does Amber Baker do for me? Like, when it comes to the tag team titles, I mean, is she still going to have that one out of mind? Or is she down going to try to think about singles competition? Yeah, but she's going to have to really just completely abandon an idea of going for tag team. Because right now, I mean, right now we're on a separate show. Amber's out here by herself. I mean, she's just gonna have to focus on her singles now. 
And it seems like it. Same would go for Violet Henwood's on Battlefront now. Yeah, it's now throwing her into the corner here. No one's taken down. But oh, what is she looking to do? Just rings of Saturn here. Oh, we had a modified rings of Saturn. But you can see how they can fly with everything she's got to break that hold. Yeah, break that hold. And well, I would say though, for Amber Baker, if she was, like I said, I think more than likely what's going to happen is she's going to be moving to singles. She's going to have to abandon the Chaos Intent team. Because right now they're not even together on the same brand. If she can get a win over Nikita, who's been a person who's, for the most part, been on good form. She's only had a very few losses here. If she can get a win over Nikita in a singles bout, especially with Brittany Blake on the outside, that was still doing wonders for Amber here tonight. Yes, sir. It would do wonders for Amber Baker going forward. If she can get the singles victory, it's not with the deck stacked against him. And oh my goodness, what a backstabber. Yes, there's a big kick. There's a thrown to the outside. But oh, what is the oh, no. looking to do? Looking for some She's high about it. Oh. Hits it. Oh my oh. god. Into the announce table. Not looking good for Anna Baker here. They're now pushing her off. We're trying to get back inside the ring. Then stopped and now taken down. They take down in a big way. You got to think. Anna Baker's back is going to be in some real pain. She's taking nasty, nasty back stapers. Back smashed into our announce table. More back breakers. Oh no, pump pad. Don't. Six. Seven. 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 Now back inside the ring though. Nikita looking to continue over here on Ember Baker. Oh, what is she looking at the set up here? Oh, taking out the legs. Taking out legs in a brutal way. She's trying to snap them up. Oh, you see Ember Baker now fighting with everything she's got. She's not backing down for a second. Now, throwing her into the ring is, so, oh, what is she going to do? Um, in the corner, no truck for something, and the kid dodge out of play, but Adam Baker's so quick. Now, Amber, what is she going to do? Oh, and dropping down a big knee. A huge, huge knee by Amber Baker, who's in control. A big five shot and a second. Then a big swing blade. And a big swing blade of there from Amber Baker. Because now, what is she looking to do? Oh, super kick. Oh, what's a super kick? But look at Brittany Blake no. getting involved. Brittany, I mean, Amber Baker trying to just get down. Nikita, is she going to be able to take advantage? No, Amber Baker, though. Able to take advantage of taking down. Yeah, take it down. Have a cover. Hook a leg. But the hand is clearly under the ropes. No. But oh, Nikita kicks out anyway. And now, what is she looking to do? Make her go to the center of the ring. Oh, and they like caught real leg drop there. Big for Matt Baker, but you can see the kid fight back very quickly there. He's feeling fired up like she can make a big comeback here. But she's just watching her, but oh, wait, there she goes with a big reversal. And now, what is she looking to do? Up, she's maybe played a little bit of mind games there. But oh, you can see how the Baker too quick for that, but no, the, the kid is too quick. Just attack in the back. Oh, gets the back. Nasty back breaker there. And now now it's just looking to get to new big kicks here. Oh, look at that last one though. What a 
Man, if I'd have kicked that from the kick of Van Gaap, but by case in real trouble, she could be knocked out by that as a cover oh, hook up the leg. No! no. And if I able to kick out, though, she's still got life in her. She can still go. Yeah, she can still go. Let's see if she can get it done. No, Amber Baker able to stop her there. Backbreaker. And then take him down the back of the head. So she's trying to fight with everything she's got, but once again, the key to fight so rough. Now, oh no, that's a pile driver! A huge pile driver there. Nikita, what is she looking to do? No, oh, she's measuring her up. Oh, God, the pile kick. Cover. Yes, here it goes. One. Two! No! What? Once again, Amber Baker able to show she's still got fight in her. And now taking him down is now Burner against the ropes. Oh, a standing Spanish fly! It's so impressive, but now going up is Amber Baker, maybe to, look, to end things. Now look in the end things here. And she's got a lot of distance oh. to cover from this. But, oh. oh! Oh, that is just all canvas she just met there. But Nikita was still groggy though, but now she's able to take advantage. Amber Baker it wasn't able to make the distance. No, she was. I could have just cost Amber Baker the matchup. It's not grabbing her. Moving away from the ropes into the get up modified rings of Saturn. Yeah, it has a lot then, but can she maybe get a foot under the rope? Yeah, as you can see, she's trying to reach out. Oh, but the big elbows and manages to escape. Yeah, managing to escape here. Now, Amber throwing her into the corner. Oh, double knees. Oh, double knees. See the kid quick to get back in a ring. Oh, the big pile kick. Yeah, sitting down. Amber Baker now taking it to the center the ring. Oh, getting work over the nice sharp shooter here. Man, this was, it was like a big four sharp shooter. And Amber Baker's in real trouble. Could she be about to tap out? She's got to try to find a way out. Does big drop kick. Yeah, huge drop kick there. And now big running knee. A huge, huge running knee. And oh. now, oh goodness, what a boot! Yeah, boot into the corner. Now, Amber Baker, what is she looking to do? Maybe pass her up. Kyle Jordan. Oh. God, what a ball drop. You can see Pretty Boy once again. Up to distract the referee this time. Because yeah. she knows it's about to come to an end. Prigs are down cover. with the twisted flatliner, and that could be a cover hook. Two, three, ever danger picked up the victory. Yeah, despite the odds being stacked against her. And a play kept from Files hit tonight with a huge victory. Well, with a bow at the end, a big victory for her there. Yeah, big, big victory. Yes, now. Get it back up. Checking on Nikita here, but oh, a punch oh. in her face! A cheap shot there by Nikita, not happy about the loss she's just suffered. And now it's Nikita starting to suffer, but no, you don't think. Oh, it looks like they want to send a message. Well, they called Lethal Desire, and I think they're going to show exactly why they picked that name. They can show how lethal they can be. Referee, get out of there! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> no! 
God, vicious steel chest shot at again. Now Brittany Blake wants a shot. She wants the chair and oh no. There's Brittany Blake's turn to get these chair shots in. And well, having Baker's all on the road, she has no one Edwards here to try and make the save. Well, we're going to have to get to Kenya as well as our main event for number one contendership. Well, Apex side of number one contendership. The Pirates will be going one, will be going against the British Invasion here in our main event here in San Diego. Yeah, big, big main event. Of course, the Pirates have really had the number of British Invasion have really helped. You know, the singles victories against British Invasion. We'll see when it comes to tag teaming. Can the Pirates yet again get the win? And well, on the Apex side, get number one contendership. Yeah, let's see if they can get it done. Can the Pirates continue doing what they've been doing against British Invasion? Or do British Invasion have a trick up their sleeve here tonight? Let's see if we can find out the British Invasion is a baby finally formulated a plan to stop the Pirates. Well, let's see as well. The Pirates are looking ready, but coming out next. Coming out first for the British Invasion. It is Dan Masters. And well, followed not too far behind is, of course, the Wolf. Morgan Wolf will be coming out in just a second. There he is. Let's see. Yeah, if British Invasion have the formulated plan to defeat the Pirates inside and become the apex that boy contenders to their tag team titles. Because British Invasion are full though. Win Barris and Tag Team Champions, so they want to try and get to those heights again. But they've got to get past the Pirates first to try and get that one little step closer. Trying to get one step closer. And well, of course, you said they were former champions. They were not only the former champions, they were the first tag team champions. And they're looking to try and get back at it again. Whenever the tag team title's on the line, they're usually not too far behind in the picture. And let's see if they can get it done. I mean, when they first came in, they were a long shot in that Joker's Wild. Yeah, they really were a long shot. It's like a team who could just not get along. And well, even when they weren't tag team champions, it still seemed that way, but... Yeah, but see, you know... Form well as a team, they want to try and get back tag team titles. Against a team like the Pirates, in their way, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy here, indeed. But we've seen what the Pirates have been able to do ever since they came back west. I mean, these guys have been out here in Stompool. I mean, what they've been drinking has not been the bubble. I don't know what they've been drinking. I mean, it bubbles, but it's definitely not the bubbly. Yeah, the bubbly isn't black yeah. and unknown. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's black, it's steam, and it, it, it doesn't really bubble like bubbly. It bubbles like it, it's boiling. And I don't know, it's boiling. We don't have a stove back there. No, it's just in some weird cauldron like thing, and I'm not going near it. I, I wouldn't go near it. I mean, it's, it's that, you know, that dark magic like mojo stuff. Like, I, I wouldn't want to touch it, but maybe if I was a wrestler, maybe I would want to touch it. I mean, you've seen the success the pirates have been going through. And the Cynic success have been going through, but their minds aren't all there. It's like they're being controlled by something. I mean, especially like you see John Woods on his face. You may think that's just makeup. But no, that has been permanently on his face since he came back west. He's apparently been there, and it's just a worrying sign. I mean, fish people, you see, we just. Also, it just seems like a zombie. I mean, both of them do. But they've had this success and they seem more powerful than ever. Yeah. And it's what the British Invasion have been able to figure out. 
They haven't been figured out. Maybe, maybe, maybe British Invasion needed to sail out west to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know if British Invasion will want to do that. No. I think they want to keep sound minds. They might very well indeed, but what's west of Britain? Um, I don't know. Is Ireland technically west? Said it's like I know geography. I thought you might. No. Because I know it's. I mean, it's. Like, I mean, I went to work about north, but it's like northwest. Uh, I'd to see that chat. You answer that chat? No, not yet. <laughs> but, I mean, as in, you know, the fans to arms were at clearing. Yeah, they could. Let's see if. Let's see if any of our fans know geography. Well, with that being said, though. Uh, Morgan Wolf looking and trying to take over Finch Pee Wee here. Oh, big stab at head out and then a kick to back. But Finch Pee Wee's like he didn't feel a thing. I don't think he did. And considering Morgan's size, you think he really should have felt something. But Finch Pee Wee just muscled out of it, like muscled off, like he was building bigger stuff. Now, I might be crazy here. I might be just, you know, adding, looking more into it than I should. But. Did Finch Pee Wee always have those marks on his shoulders? Um, I actually believe he did. Okay, never mind. But uh, again, someone can always correct me on that. You know, someone, someone only put in no, but I don't know what they're saying no to. <laughs> they might have been saying is Northern Ireland west of Britain. But right now, I think he's in Armageddon here. I'm um, good help, but that was able to escape. He thinks the damage has got to be done. And we into the corner he goes. Oh, you know, oh my goodness. And he caught a trap here and face first into the middle turbo. But Davos is fighting off here. And and the look to end things. And someone in our chat is asking, what was the geography question? The geography question is, what is west of Britain? I'm thinking Ireland may kind of be west. It's like northwest, but west, we'll, we'll see. Uh, well, someone in our chat I, I says Canada. Um, pretty sure that's wrong. All I'm right. pretty sure Canada is not the first place you'd come along if you kept travelling west. Uh, but if it is, does that mean that uh, British Invasion would come back as Moose Invasion? <laughs> they may very well do. As I'm being close on combo. You know, if I wanted anything from uh, Colombo, it may very well be the Bahamas that could be lost. We're not going to go into that kind of stuff. <laughs> We're not. Wales. Wales is what's immediately west. Ah, so they, they'll, if they travel west, they'll come back as sheep. In, but we said west of Great Britain, so that includes Wales. Yeah, yeah, that includes Wales. Because they are British invasion, not English invasion. Otherwise, if you said just England, then yes, Wales would be acceptable and there'd be sheep invasion. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, 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 Mr. Geography Man, if you can find what is west of Great Britain, not just not just England. I, now that you say that Wales, I think I am completely wrong. I think it's east then. Of what, of what I really is then. And I think I got it the wrong way around. But again, I'm not very big on geography either. No idea. But that's that's over here nor there. Yeah, what, what's the bus of Great Britain geography, man? But French people is celebrating as if he's already won, as both British Invasion are down. Yeah, they're down, they could be out. It's like as French Pee-wee has to have us to stop and oh, just yeets him! I'm down with, you know, the cool kids. I know my memes. I, a, 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 a pirate in the chat tells me West is Ireland. Ah! And east is France. So, so Northern Ireland, I guess, would be west. So 
So they've come back as Drunk Invasion. Drunk Invasion. Uh, oh, they've had a lot of the bubble A lot of the bubble But It's all oh, a Dragon Slayer level different though, Finch Peewee. Again, it's that weird thing that has made the pirate stronger. The fact he was able to escape that hold immediately. Oh, 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 Split! Couldn't escape that. Couldn't escape that. West, east, north, and south. Couldn't escape a wolf fight. Up, down, left, right. <laughs> up, up, down, down. Floaty, float, float. What? <laughs> You'll float down here. So, oh no, that, that, that's a Jay Mercer thing. Now, one person in the chat says, check a road map. He says, for sure, it is Canada. I don't know. You can't drive from Britain to Canada unless you've got some amphibious car. Well, we are talking about boats. You can't drive the island either, can you? Can you? Uh, you could get a ferry at least. See? See? You can't drive it. Still, never. Canada is not the first place you would get to if you continuously travelled west from Great Britain. I feel like there'd be an island somewhere. Else. Exactly. I, I can't wait and see if someone actually watches the YouTube and leaves a comment on this saying, "Why are we talking about what's west of Great Britain during the whole entire main event?" Well, oh, the pirates traveled west from wherever they discovered something truly horrifying. Truly horrifying. You know what? Since I'm actually going to now Google it so I can get the real answer. There's so, all. More wolves. Sorry, looking for another wolf spike. Yes, it! And he's cut open each peewee cover. Hook off the leg. But John Woods is right there. Right there, and a well, busted open Finch Peewee. Whoa, Wolf, looking for a third Wolf Spite. It's it! Cover! Hook of the leg, but once again, John Woods is there to stop him. With a big uppercut. Do you no, have your answers? I, I don't have my answer. I'm still looking. But as we are still going, as everybody's down right now. No, nope, but Finch Peewee's back up now, but oh my goodness. Oh. He is a bloody mess. Can you see that help Damien Valentine, though? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he's as bad as Damien Valentine yet. Oh, but oh! Wolf has him for a big DDT! But, what now, Morgan Wolf, maybe gonna get Dan Masters into it here. As you can see, Finch Peewee's trying to get to Chill once and he does! It's time for us to celebrate it here, and oh, gets him with a spear! You know, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, this literally directly uh, west. Nah. Again, they, they just get to Ireland and they just probably drink a uh, uh, lot of Guinness. A lot of Guinness. But now, you see John Woods throwing Den Masters into the corner. But oh, has him up. It has him up. Take him oh. down. It's him down. Now, no into the corner. Tavos just takes John Woods, who could be in some real trouble, but Tavos just needs to think about what he wants to do. He can't just stand there. Wait a minute. Yeah. No, oh, Tavos oh, is always going for a bit more. It's the oh, way a little oh. bit, right? No, oh. he wasn't. Oh, my goodness. I was going to remain of DDT diving through the ropes. Oh my goodness, face first. 
into you know, the ring mat. I will say this. For, for us okay. making fun of the person saying Canada, after Ireland, it is Canada. Oh. Well, still, that was wrong. So if we don't want to include Ireland, because technically part of Ireland is a part of the great... Is part of Great Britain. I can't ever remember if it's which part because you've got Northern, you've got Ireland, and you've got Northern Ireland. Yes. Still same island. Oh wait, uh, count out victory! We should count out. We should well, stop. all that has happened. That pirates <laughs> take advantage of a situation and win by count outs. Yeah, win by count out. Well, we're to appear at work to go west. We have seen the pirates now pick up the victory by count out over the British Division. They will go against whoever Battlefront will provide for the noble contention for the tag titles. But with that being said, that is it for Apex. Just to say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. And guys, I'm Christian May commentator John Alderman, and I will see you guys all this Thursday for Battlefront. And well, guys, if you guys want to go west of the United Kingdom, go to Ireland. Thank you, and good night.